let's start with the big picture structures of the um, female reproductive system on our cat. So remember that a cat's uterus is shaped like a slingshot. On a female human, it's look, it looks like an upside down pear. But here we actually have these tubes called uterine horns. So this right here would be the right uterine horn. This is the left uterine horn. And where they meet up is the uterine body. These little tiny round structures are the ovary. So this would be the left ovary. And down here, that's the right ovary. We have those little tiny uterine tubes right there. They're also called the um, fallopian tubes on humans. And that infundibulum and the fimbriae, that's actually gonna be right here. It will hover right over that ovary. This little ligament right here is the um, suspensory ligament. So a way I like to think of this is it kind of, you know, suspends the ovary. And we have another ligament in this area and that's the broad ligament. And so this tissue here, and actually if we think of it connects to the um, uterine horns, that's the broad ligament. And there are specific parts of the broad ligament up here. You don't need to know those parts. Down here on this uterine horn, we have our other ligament that is going to be the round ligament. A way I like to remember this is that the round ligament is um, kind of in the same area as the ingu inguinal canal and spermatic cord on a male cat. So you think that's what we called it on a male cat. On a female cat, the structure that's in that similar area is the round ligament. So this would be the left round ligament. We also have the ovarian uh, arteries and veins. So this right here would be the left artery. We only see part of the vein up here. And remember the vein on the left side connects to that renal vein. So that, that's a little memory trick for you there. On the right side, we can see there's our ovarian artery that connects to the abdominal aorta. One thing I want to point out, speaking of renal, is that these are not the ureters. And that's an answer I actually get quite a bit. These are the ureters right here. And I know everything looks similar, but always, always, always on an exam, if I've got a pin in something, make sure you're looking to see what it's connected to. The ureters, well, number one, the ureters were in a different body system. And so, you know, at our institution, you know that's incorrect because we're in the reproductive system here. So the, remember, the ureter is gonna connect the kidney to the urinary bladder. The uterine horn connects the ovary to the uterine body. So just pay special attention to the context of where the pin is when you're looking at these structures for exam purposes. Let's continue on with the uterine body. So if we were to follow this towards the caudal end, this little passageway right here is the vagina. And again, kind of talking about the urinary system again, we need to pay attention what it's connected to because this right here is the urethra because it's attached to that bladder. Now where the vagina and the urethra meet up, there's this opening down here. It's a single opening on a cat and it's called the urogenital sinus. And think urogenital is a compound word, uro genital. So it's essentially the open space where the um, urethra and the vagina have in common. So also, uh, like I say frequently, use your knowledge of, of the terms to help you picture what connects to what. So hopefully that helps you guys get an idea of what the structures are on a female cat for the reproductive system and that you also pay attention to the context and you don't confuse anything from the reproductive system with those things within the urinary system. Want to stay up to date on my latest videos? Please hit like and subscribe and don't forget to check my Instagram page at The Anatomy Gal. See you next time.